YouTubers, what's up? Morris here. All right, I'm uh, taking a lot of questions about what my HTPVR rendering settings are for Sony Vegas or whatnot. And I see a lot of YouTubers actually make videos about the rendering settings, so I figured I'd do the same thing here. Now, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's all personal preference, but uh, I figured I'd show you anyway. Now, what I use to record for my HTPVR is Total Media Extreme 2. Uh, it comes with your HD PVR, and if you don't got it, you can actually download a 30-day free trial for it. So right there it is. Now once you already got your video on your computer, I use Vegas Pro 10. Uh, I'm sure it works in other Sony Vegas's, but uh, open this bad boy up. And you can get a Sony, you can get a trial like I have here. Uh, I think it's like 15 or 30 days, something like that. Once it's open, you f open and put in your video. And there you go. Now, before you start slicing it up and making two, three, four, or more different video slices, you want to do this all before you slice it up, all while it's one big video. All right? That way, it'll make it a lot easier. Um, sometimes I'll forget, and I'll start slicing it up to edit, and uh, then, I, then you have to do it to every single one, and it becomes a pain in the ass. So <clears throat> do it while it's all one thing. Uh, first thing you want to do is go to... Uh, we want to click on the video a little bit so you get uh, at least a picture so you know what you're dealing with. But uh, click on Project Properties. And you want to make a template here. I already got a template made. But uh, you can just put whatever you want here in the template and save it once you have all this information down. Now the uh, width is 1280. The height is 720. The field order is lower field first. The pistol aspect ratio is 1.2121 NTSC DV widescreen. The output rotation is zero. The frame rate is 29.970, so pretty much 30 frames per second. Now, if you're doing a commentary or whatever, this is good. If you're doing a montage and you want more control over your clips or your frames, um, you can go up to 59.940, but uh, for most cases, uh, 30 frames per second is good. <laughs> um, pixel format is 8-bit. Full resolution rendering quality is best. Motion blur type is Gaussian, and deinterlace method is none. And you start all your projects like this, and there you go. Apply. Okay. Now you might notice that there's been black bars here, and uh, ain't all that pretty looking. So um, what you do is you right click, include properties, click disable resample, uncheck maintain aspect ratio, and check reduce interlace flicker. Click OK, and it stretches out your video a little bit better, makes it a little bit nicer. You might still have a little bit of bar showing. I don't know. But uh, what you do is you go to the very end of your video and click the uh, event pan crop. And you can kind of size it down how you like. Um, I already have a uh, template for this. And size it to how I like it. And boom. There you go. So now your video is all fitted and formatted correctly. Now you can start spicing it up if you wish. Um, how to do that is uh, you go to this little logo right here, the track effects. Or you could click on the link and go to media effects, whichever one you want to do, doesn't matter. All right, I use color corrector secondary, add. The brightness and contrast, add. The sharpen, add. And two spots up from that, the saturation adjust, add. Click OK. Now the color corrector secondary, I have a template for. And again, after you put all these, after you put the, in these numbers, you can, uh, Put whatever you want to name it and then save it if you want. The rotate hue is zero. The saturation is 0 0.859. The gamma is 1.0. The gain is 0 0.859. The offset is 16. The alpha is 1. Check, lum check limit luminance. The low is zero. The high is 255 and the smooth is zero. Check limit saturation. The low is zero. The high is all the way up, 162. The smooth is zero. Check limit hue. The center is 180. The width is all the way up at 360. And the smooth is at the bottom at zero. And there you go. The brightness and contrast, I have two settings for. Um, I have a light setting for if you're mostly in buildings a lot in your clip or uh, it's just a dark map. You might want to lighten it up a little bit so it's not like completely dark so people can see what you're doing. The brightness is 0 0.08, the contrast is 0 0.25, and the contrast center is 0 
if you're if it's a light map and you're outside most of the time, like Dome or Sea Town or whatever, Modern Warfare 3, the brightness is 0, 0.0, the contrast is 0, 0.38, and the contrast center is 0, 0.50. Sharpen. The amount is 0, 0.111. And last, the saturation adjust, the amount is 0 0.5800, the center is 0 0.3580, the spread is 0 0.7360, the low is 1.0, and the high is 0, 0.0. Once you have that all ready, you're ready to save. Now, keep in mind, the video preview for this is not going to look all that great. All right, After it's rendered, it looks a lot better, so uh, don't... You use the video preview to get somewhat of an idea, but don't let it be your main source that you go on. Because um, it will lie to you. It makes it look like it's horrible when it's really not. Alright, then you go to render as, save as type Sony AVC slash MVC MP4 M2 TS ABC. Then the template, I have the template already here, but you'll want to go to custom. Have include video checked. The video format is AVC. Frame size, high definition, 1280 by 720. Profile main. Coding is CA, BAC. The frame rate will always be 29.970. Even if you use the 59 frames per second or the earlier, YouTube only goes 30 frames per second. So, you know, that was nice while you were editing, but for rendering, you know, leave it at that. Because um, if you make it more, YouTube's just going to make it 30 frames per second anyway, so... <laughs> Um, the field order is non-progressive scan. The pixel aspect ratio is 1. And the bit, frape, blah, bit rate is uh, 15. Now, you can go higher or lower. Um, I wouldn't really go below 10. And you can't go higher than 26. So, I usually leave it at 15. But it uh, depends on really the length of your video, I think. But uh, encode mode, automatic recommended. There you go. You save it. And that's all you got to do. All right, guys. So, I uh, hope you like. Let me know how that turns out for you. And... Uh, I'll catch you guys later.